hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be starting a new weekly challenge video um this week i'm going to do reading a page for every single time i pick up my phone so by using the screen time app on my phone i'm going to see how many times i picked up my phone um last week each day and then each day this week i will read a page for however many times i picked up my phone so today is sunday um march the 3rd so last week was sunday the 25th of february and on sunday the 25th of february i picked up my phone 155 times which is a lot i think that's going to be like one of the highest days i'm pretty sure um that is a lot but luckily it's a sunday so i have nothing else to do i was going to go and get my nails done today but i'm just not feeling well so we're just gonna have to be bare hands for a few more days um but so 154 pages today i am currently reading a deal with the elf king by elise cova which is the first book in this series it says a marriage to magic novel so i think that's the name of the series um it's basically a i guess like a forced proximity um sort of romance basically there's these two realms like the fey realms and the human realms and there's a human realm that is very close to the fey realms and because of that and because of the like underlying magic these humans get to live way longer than any other humans typically would um and basically as a payment for them being able to live this long each they have to sacrifice one of their women as like um the bride of the elf king um <laughs> the human queen it's called i don't know if i'm doing very good at explaining this but they have to sacrifice um a girl to be the human queen of the elf king and basically apparently oh my battery's gonna die in <laughs> one sec okay sorry if the angle changed my battery died but um so every year i don't know if it's every year but they have to sacrifice a girl to be the human queen and, oh yeah the human queen like supposedly has to have some like form of power um and that's how they'll know that like that is the human queen and pretty much this year they they don't know who it is they can't find anyone so the elf king comes to the human realms and he sees luella who is a healer he sees her heal someone and he's like it's you you're the you're the human queen um so he takes her back to the fae realm to be his bride i'm only 32 pages in which is chapter four um but it's really good so far i love the writing it's very very easy to read and i feel like it's going to be a fast read because i the words on the page are very big so it's very big to get i mean fast to get through the chapters are not that long they're like maximum 10 pages each and it's also on kindle unlimited so i can switch to my kindle if i want to so to read my 155 pages today i will get to page 187 um let me just see where that is 187 is like nearly halfway through the book so that would be great but if i do want to read on like i'm not going to stop myself from continuing to read because that is not the point of the challenge to only read those pages the point of the challenge is to at least read those pages so 155 pages today starting with this book let's freaking go okay we have completed our pages for a deal with the elf king i've actually read 174 pages so i went 19 pages over my goal i'm pretty sure i'm going to carry on reading this today because it is only 1 p.m and it's a Sunday and like I said earlier I have nothing to do today so I'm probably going to carry on reading this and honestly might try and finish it um, because I'm now on page 206 which is over halfway and I'm really enjoying it now. We have got to the point where Luella is in the Fae world and she is sort of learning how to use her magic and she's trying to get to know um, the king and her and the king are sort of now working together to see if they can um figure out a way to stop 
the firelands needing the human queen um and i really like the tension between the king his name's eldus between eldus and luella because eldus is very stern and serious and he doesn't really let people get to know him because he's been alone for like his whole life he was kept in the castle and doesn't have many friends and etc um but you can tell that he does have a soft spot for Luella so it's really nice like seeing the tension between them and seeing some of the like more intimate moments between them even though he's still very much like serious like it's definitely enemies to lovers um but I'm really enjoying the relationship and I'm really enjoying the friends that Luella's making in the castle as well like the friendships are just as good as the main relationship in this for me at the moment like I'm just really enjoying all the relationships so it's very good so far I'm on chapter 22 and I'm just so excited to carry on reading I in the beginning I didn't think I was going to love this book as much as I did before I bought it because the beginning was just quite slow but obviously it's a new fantasy world you have to get to know the the world and, and the writing and stuff but I'm very much enjoying it now and I can't wait to carry on I really do hope I finish this today because it's just so good I'm really enjoying it <laughs> I'm sat in the exact same position that I've been in all day it's currently 4 p.m and I finished the book I just couldn't stop reading it was so good um it had a happy ending but I don't want to give like any more spoilers so that's all I have to say I read it in five hours and I'm giving it five stars there's no way around this I really want to order the next one I realized that they're not all out I don't think in this series yet it's supposed to be a five book series um but I don't think they're all out let me see when this one was published actually 2023 so I don't think they're all out yet but I really want to order the second one I know that the second one is about nine pounds on Amazon so I think I'm gonna order it because this one was just so good the next one is called a dance with the fae prince um and it looks like that basically there's like different types of fae in this world and I think every single book in the series is um to do with a different um fae royalty essentially um so this one was an elf the next one is just fae and then i think there's a um oh let me have a let me check i know that there's a vampire one there's a vampire one a siren one and then a wolf one so yeah um this was five stars and now how, let me see how many pages that means I've read today. I read 359 pages. Okay, it's not going to focus, but I read 359 pages. And I was supposed to read 155. So I read 200 more than I was supposed to. And that means that I need to pick a new book for tomorrow. To be honest, I might start another book later because I'm really in the reading mood. Um, but we'll see. But that will be my last update for today. And then we'll come back tomorrow with how many pages I need to read tomorrow and then me trying to read it. It is Monday tomorrow, which means I have work, so it will be in the evening. So it will get harder from now on, but I'm confident in this challenge. Okay, it's currently Monday. I've worked out the amount of pages that I read yesterday and it is 378. So I absolutely hit my page goal for yesterday. Um, I did start There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark. Um, I just read the first chapter which was 19 pages so I added that on to what I read of A Deal With The Elf King yesterday. Today's page goal I'll put it up on the screen but it is 93 pages which is a bit shorter which works for me because it's a Monday and I'm tired but I already read one chapter of this on my lunch break earlier so I'm on page 36 which means I've read um, 17 pages so far um i don't know if i explained what this is about but if i didn't i'll explain now this is the first book in the sinners duet by sophie lark um 
I don't know much about it because I didn't read the blurb but from the first two chapters what I've gathered is both of the two main characters Cole and Mara are artists Cole is a more successful artist and Mara is a struggling artist and they cross paths every now and then from what I've gathered Cole is not a great person I'm pretty sure it's a um, dark romance duet um, that's all I really want to say because I don't want to spoil it for myself or for anyone else um, but I will update when I'm further into it um, but that means that I do have to read how many pages did I say I've read today? Mm. 17 so that means I have to read 76 more pages today which I think I can do and that will get me to page 112 which this book is literally like 290 ish pages so it's not very long at all so i might try and carry on past my page count again it just really depends on how tired i get because like i said it is a monday and i'm shattered um but the first day of this challenge was successful so let's hope that i can keep it going throughout the week <laughs> Okay, I've just read my pages for today. I'm now on page 114, so I read 95 pages. Um, this book is insane. So, definitely look at the trigger warnings before you pick up this book. Um, the main theme is like stalking, um, but there's also some really, really gruesome things in here that I did not expect to read and honestly I felt a bit sick when I was reading them just because I don't like that kind of thing um, but definitely read the trigger warnings before you pick this up. Saying all that, I am actually really enjoying it so far and I found myself like wanting to read on and wanting to keep reading the next chapter because I just can't believe what's happening and it's just insane and I just need to know what happens so it is definitely a page turner and although I have finished my pages for today um, I'm probably going to carry on reading this tonight when I get into bed so I'll update you on that tomorrow and how many pages I end up reading um, but yeah that was actually pretty easy to finish today's page goal because this book was it's so fast okay I'm going to be so so honest right now it's currently Wednesday evening and I didn't update yesterday because I didn't read a single thing yesterday. I was supposed to read 130 pages yesterday and I was just too tired. I just didn't, I didn't even pick up my book. I didn't even think about it. I just slept. So I failed for Tuesday, but that's okay. We're back on it today. And today I have to read 83 pages, which I feel really guilty because that's 50 less pages than I was supposed to read yesterday. And I didn't do yesterday's but oh well I have to read 83 pages tonight I think I'm gonna try and read more than that anyway because I do really want to finish um there are no saints because I was getting really into it so I wish I'd read it yesterday as well but I didn't but I'm gonna read 83 pages today minimum which will take me to like page 200 there's like 293 pages so I'd rather just finish it today we'll see what happens but it's only 6 p.m right now so I've got loads of time to read this evening so hopefully I can get this finished today okay I've realized I've been in the exact same place for every single one of these clips so far in this vlog but I've just been sitting at my desk to read recently I can't help it um I've actually already finished the today's pages and it is quarter to eight um right now so i've read those pages quite fast um i am now on page 207 which means i've actually read 88 pages so far so i've completed today's goal but i only have 86 pages left of this book so i'm just going to try and carry on for as long as i can until i get tired my eyes are getting tired now granted i have not been wearing my glasses um but yeah, I might just lie down and just read as much as possible until I fall asleep because I do really want to finish this book. And it's finally getting to a point where like, we're finally getting to a point where like we're seeing um, a more, a little bit of a softer side to 
coal which is nice and they're sort of they're getting to know each other better which you know you should hope so i'm 70 percent into the book um but yeah it's good so far definitely check the trigger warnings though before you read this book because there's a lot we're back in the exact same position for another update so it's now thursday i've got home from work i'm ready to read it's quarter to seven in the evening and we have to read um oh god <laughs> we have to read 132 pages which i think is the most we've had to read so far surprise surprise when i said i was going to finish there are no saints last night i didn't finish there are no saints i didn't read anything else um so i have 80 hold on i have 86 pages left of this book that will leave about 50 pages left of my page goal for today no idea what i'm going to read after this but i just know that i need to finish this first and then move on because we are finishing this page goal today mark my words i don't know if i'm going to do this until saturday or sunday i might go till sunday because i did miss tuesday i failed tuesday so i might go till sunday but all i know is i've been successful every day that i've done this challenge obviously other than tuesday um and i'm actually really enjoying it because it gives me a motivation to read if i have a goal if i have something i need to meet i like that so yeah i'm gonna finish this the last 86 pages of this and then i'll maybe i'll move on to the next book in this duology we'll see how i feel at the end of this um i'll let you know when i finish th this book i'm gonna talk quietly because it's quite light but i just finished there are no saints um i'm gonna give it three stars i think because it was just a bit it was good but it was a bit gross for me it was a bit a bit grim it was a bit too far but i do really want to read the second one because it left on a cliffhanger so i might pick up the second one soon should i pick it up tonight i don't know i have 46 pages left to read and i don't know whether to start the second one or to pick up a book on my kindle because i'm tired and i want to lie down i'm not sure but i'll update you tomorrow on what i read for the last 46 pages okay i honestly can't tell you how annoyed i am that i have just been sat in this exact same position all week and i know i said that earlier in the week but it's still happening and i'm sorry because i hate it just as much as i'm sure you guys hate it but this is where i sit so um i didn't read anything yesterday yesterday was friday I didn't read anything because I went to work early, was in the office, went to the gym at lunchtime, straight after work, went to get my nails done. So I literally just didn't have time at all yesterday. I didn't get home till like 11 o'clock at night. So I didn't read anything. So I think today, mm, no, tomorrow will be the last day of this challenge. So saturday the 2nd of march which was last saturday i picked up my phone it will load 89 times so today i need to read 89 pages um and then tomorrow it's 116 so i want to read there is no devil today i read 16 pages of this on thursday night um and it literally just picks up right where the last one left off this is the second book to there is no saint we there there are no saints <laughs> um by sophie lark and then this one is the second one in the duology so this will mean i've completed the series um this one is a bit shorter as well i think it's it's 281 pages honestly i want to read this all today that's the goal so i definitely want to read over the 83 pages or whatever it was that we have to read um i'm 16 pages in so i have like 200 and 260 pages 265 pages ish um to finish this so that's the plan um i'm not going to repeat what the story is about and i'm also 
not going to say too much about this one because obviously I don't want to spoil the first one. So yeah, but that's the goal for today is to finish this book. Today is the last day of the challenge. Um, yesterday I got to page 141 of There Is No Dead Force, so I read well over the 83 pages. I think it was 83 anyway. Um, let me check what today's pages were. Today I have to read 116 pages and I want to finish this book anyway so that will be I have to do maths here I need to read 140 pages to finish this book anyway so I'm planning on reading over but I will update you um at the end of the day if I did finish this book and complete my pages um so there should only really be one more update for this video and then it will be over I've actually really loved doing this challenge I've read three books or like finished one book and then we'll have read two entire books once I finish this one so it actually has been very good for me to have a goal because it's actually motivated me to read um so yeah I'm really enjoying it I'm gonna go and finish this book now this morning and then I'll speak to you when I've finished and give my final update I just finished there is no devil um so I've completed my page goal I've read 140 pages which I'm really happy with it's literally only midday right now so I've finished this book this morning which means I have the rest of the day to read more I'm not going to film that for this video because I'm probably going to start a new vlog this afternoon um but I did finish there is no devil which means I was successful for how many days did I do this challenge? Seven. And I was successful for five of them, which I think is pretty good considering Friday I was really busy and I just didn't have time to even look at a book. And then Tuesday I was just tired. So I'm proud of myself. Five out of seven days success is really good for me. And I enjoyed some good books. I've now finished this duet by Sophie Lark. This book I'm going to give four stars. I think this one was slightly better than the first one I don't know why I just I enjoyed this one a little bit more so I'm going to give this book four stars um but other than that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one